Hey guys, it's Ajax here from Team High Society, and today we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side video comparison of the GoPro Session 4 and the new Runcam 3. Now I realize that there is a Session 5, but it costs quite a bit more and its specs are quite a bit better. So if the Runcam can't beat out the GoPro here, why would you pay more? Anyways, um, we've got this review broken down into several sections. We're going to go over the specs of the Runcam HD3, then we're going to go over the specs of the GoPro, then I'm going to put up the side-by-side uh, -side video, and finally there's a conclusion about what I think. Uh, you know, you make up your own decision ultimately, but I'll give you my thoughts. So. Right now you'll see a little screen that you want to jump ahead to the side-by-side -side video. The, there's, you can do it now. Anyways, let's start out with the specs of the Runcam HD3. It has a 155 degree field of view. Um, it does 1080p 60, 1080p 30, and various 720p modes. But uh, if you're using this to film uh, mini quad flying and racing, uh, I think it's safe to say that you're going to be doing 1080-60. Um, it has a t uh, micro USB charging port. Interestingly, it takes uh, 5 to 17 volts. So potentially, you could charge this with a 3 or 4S LiPo, something other than just a straight regulated USB. So that's kind of interesting for field charging. I haven't tried it, I'm not going to right away in case it uh, is a misprint or that's not the case. Um, but I will update with the card later once I've had some more time to test it and I'll let you know if it works. Um, it claims that its dimensions are 38 by 38 by 37. So let's go ahead and try that right now or check that. 38, 38. 37 so right up there and uh, it says that it's 66 grams so let's check that out sixty seven grams on my scale I do have an SD card in it not sure if that would make the gram difference or not but it's pretty close uh, some other things it does have replaceable glass uh, it also has a an app for your phone so that you can preview it and change the settings. I'm not going to go into that much because uh, I find all the apps kind of crappy and um, if you leave the communication, the wireless communication on for either of these devices, it's on 2.4 and it will interfere with your receiver. So chances are you're not going to be using it and you're certainly not going to be using it while flying or you shouldn't. Um, Something interesting uh, about this is that I took side-by-side -side video, mounted these on the same quad and flew it around the exact same, so you'll have identical video conditions to, to test between it or to compare between the two. But I don't know if you can see it in the regular light, but maybe this will help. Um, I use some, uh, I forget what they're called, kangaroo straps or something. They're, uh, they're like these little bungee cords and uh, I had two of them over the top of these cameras and I don't know if you can see that or not but the, it uh, it was out in the sun for maybe two hours and I live in Arizona where it's nice and sunny but obviously the case has started just to discolor you can clearly see where those straps were on there so I don't know if that's just purely cosmetic or if the plastic's kind of crappy I, I don't know I'm, you know time will tell how strong this ends up being but, uh, all right, well, that's the specs of the uh, Runcam 3. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the GoPro here. And this is, again, the Session 4. And it does, um, it has a higher maximum video resolution. It's 1440 at 30. Uh, again, not really interested in that. Uh, most likely you're gonna be recording, you're gonna want 60 frames per second. So you're gonna go ahead and be doing uh, 1080, 60. But it does 1080 60 and 1080 30 and also the various other 720 modes. Um, once again, it charges off of a micro USB. However, this is 5 volt only, so it does not have a wide voltage input range here. So, definitely 
a nice regulated 5 volt USB source to charge this. Um, it claims, you know, the, the size is almost identical, but let's just go check it real quick. So that's 38, 38, 36 and a half. So just right off the bat, I can tell you that I have several commercially available um, session mounts and the run cam has fit in every single one of them without a problem. Um, let's take a look at the, the weight here because that was one differentiating, differentiating thing here. So this is 73 grams. So six, seven grams more than the run cam. Now it also has replaceable glass, but I would say that just, you know, the feel in the hand and the materials, the GoPro is definitely a tougher camera. It's got a metal bezel here and it's got a nice rubberized outer coating that, that it feels very strong. And I can tell you, I've had this camera for quite a while and as you can see, it's been beat up a little bit, but I can tell you it's, uh, it's a very tough camera and it's waterproof out of the box. So uh, it also has a camera app, just like the Runcam 3. Again, I don't like it. I think all the camera apps kind of suck. And if you leave the wireless on, it will, it will interfere with your receiver. So it's not super useful. Well, it's not for many quads. Um, I don't know if I mentioned replaceable glass already, but that's basically the, the specs of each of these cameras. And now let's go take a look at the side-by-side -side video. Hey guys, sorry if the light and sound is slightly different. Um, I'm re-uploading, or I'm re-recording my conclusion section. Um, after looking at the two video side by side pretty closely, I think that uh, the Run Cam 3 has got better video. I was gonna say that they were tied, the quality was the same, but I think that the Run Cam is better than the, the uh, GoPro Hero Session 4. There's just more detail in the shadows. And um, after observing that, I thought, okay, there's gotta be a technical reason why. So I went and looked at the actual video files that were captured, and this has a 35 megabit a second 
data rate and this one was only 25. So there's about you know a 50% increase in data rate. Um, not only that but the Runcam 3 has uh, stereo sound so if you like the sound in your videos it has stereo sound whereas I was only getting mono sound out of the GoPro. Um, so on price this is the winner on video quality it's the winner and on weight it's the winner now that being said uh, the GoPro I think is a winner with its warranty it's pretty hard to beat the warranty um, although with replaceable glass that's usually the thing that breaks so unless you just destroy these things maybe the warranty isn't a win for the GoPro um, it does however have ProTune and SuperView those things I think are a plus I, I don't know that the additional price makes that worth it um, so there you go kind of a surprise there uh, HD3 winner over the GoPro Session 4 you know what that means there's gonna be a part two we're gonna have to put the HD3 against the Session 5 and uh, I don't know at the price of this little guy it better be significantly better video anyways um you know it would really give me a it would really help me out if you give guys give me a thumb up on the video and subscribe for more if you got any questions put them down in the doobly-doo and i will get back with you thanks again for watching